Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Wilson Creation. I am going to be making some covers for my emoji um, traveler notebooks, and I'm going to be using this folder that came from Staples and it was on clearance I think for a dollar or 50 cent. They also have these available at uh, the DT as well and I did use one of those as well. I made a total of four emoji traveler notebooks but I wanted to let you guys see and come along with how I made them in the process. I'm not great <laughs> with measurements or anything so it's going to be more of a talk to of through of what I did. Um, and so I am going to be making two in this video. So if you are done at the first one, you can just leave after that. Or if you want to see it again, so you can get like a clearer detail or if you missed a step, I'm going to be doing two. So, like I said, I cut the um, folder apart and I actually used a ro rotary cutter at first to get it off. And then I went back through with a actual uh, paper cutter and it does cut just fine with the paper cutter you're going to see there to straighten it up. I was checking to make sure that the size actually fit <laughs> and how big I wanted it and because of the size, well I, more of the direction, because of the direction of the print on there, I could only fold it from right to left or... Uh, vertical instead of horizontal so um, I ended up only putting two inserts in this traveler snowbook so I'm gonna clean up the the edges to get a straight line and then I'm just checking to make sure that it still would actually fit with two booklets so I ended up doing two booklets a folder and a shaker in these I had so much fun making them so I just kind of wanted to hang out tonight. You have to take the stickers off. The stickers on the folder came out very easily. I also used a folder to make some washi cards with them for my traveler's notebook. That turned out super cool. Like, I mean, I just knew that I was going to turn this folder into a cover. So if you never thought to do that, um, and you see right there, that um, size is almost 7 inches. But again, I just kind of look and feel and I am i don't really craft, so I don't really measure. I'm more of an eyeballer um, and I'm just doing that to both of the folders, cutting them down. I am going around the corners, all of those. I'm fitting the books to make sure that they fit. I don't know, I had so much fun guys doing these. Um, I was kind of like, not really depressed, but I was just needing like a pick-me-up and I thought Emoji Love would be a great pick-me-up. I had so much fun making them. Um, it was just like, I, it took me a little over three weeks to complete them, so, um, and if you guys want to see the completed version, don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be notified when that one's going to be posted, but it will be posted sometime this week. So there they go, and the edges, I mean, the ends are rounded. And I think I'm looking to see if I wanted that kind of glossy side to be the outside or the more matte side. It's like a shiny side and a matte side. There you go. I'm, I'm rounding those corners on there. And um, I ended up using kind of like the matte side as the outside of the folder and uh, or, or the planner and then um, the, the kind of shiny more glossy one is in the inside. It's kind of like how the folder would naturally be. And again, see I don't like measuring so I kind of figure out the middle and then I mark it up with a marker. Kind of mark my middle areas. And then I'm going to open it up. Kind of double check and see if that works. Use the uh, ruler to get a straight line. And then I'm going to put some bigger dots there. Then I um, um, then I noticed I could use the mat on the on my actual desk. So I'm using my crocodile to, or big bite, whatever that's called. I think it's called a big bite. Nope, it's called a crocodile uh, to punch the holes. And that thing I have a love-hate relationship with. So at least it punches good. And it's able to punch like all the way in. Um, more have a love-hate relationship with the um, 
the eyelid set. But anyway, that's what I'm using to punch it. You could use a regular hole punch or whatever you have. This folder is a little bit thick, so you need something strong to pierce it. So I'm doing that to both of them, double checking it to make sure that everything is good. And then once I have one, I kind of know what I'm doing for the second one. So I'm going to repeat that process. So now it's time to figure out my elastic. I'm just pulling out all the colors I got, trying to figure out which color I want to use. And I ended up deciding on red. I felt like it went with those um, images the most. So that's the color I picked for all of these. Um, and then we're just going to thread it. Now, I didn't kind of... I don't know do really good with showing you how because there's so many tutorials on how to uh, thread the elastic but I do a four band if that makes sense I start at the bottom I go up and down um, and make it like an eight and I don't know if you can see that at all because it's kind of off camera but um, that's how it looks at the end I'm really terrible with tutorials guys so I really I'm doing my best but it's more of a you guys spend time with me you guys know I love sharing projects with you guys so I really hope that you got some enjoyment out of this video and you know spending a little time of your day with me I love seeing other people projects as well so and the joy that it brings them so anyway I am just uh, Threading that up, putting the uh, band on, and um, I'm going to put the books in there. And pretty much that is going to be it, guys, for this video. I am going to do a second one. I'm going to put all the books and thread in that one as well. So if you want to stay tuned and keep watching, you can. But that's basically what I'm doing. These... Um, these Traveler's Notebooks are going to be $38 a piece. I haven't um, finished everything yet. So there will be another video on um, like how the finished product looked and when they're actually for sale. But I did have so much fun making them. They turned out really cute, guys. And if you want to make your own, check out Staples or Walmart or Dollar Tree and look for some of these kind of like plastic um folders if you want to use that instead of like the laminating ones but they turned out super good i hope you guys like this video and i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys and i'll just see you guys at the end um i'll try to come back okay
Okay, guys, you have made it to the end. These are just the books that I covered. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.